Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new 360 camera from Insta360. This is the Insta360 X4. Now, I have talked about the X series cameras on this channel before. We reviewed the X3 last year, and I want to talk about what makes this camera very unique. There's a lot of new features that we're going to dig into in a minute, but the big deal on here is this is the first of the X series to feature recording in 8K. Now, why is 8K a big deal? You probably say, Ted, when you're talking about video and cameras, 8K is something that's not really needed. So 360 camera cameras have a camera on each side of the body here, and they both record simultaneously. Now, what you do is you record a full 360 degree field of view at all times. The advantage to that is you sort of shoot now and it gives you a lot of options to crop later. That's why resolution is really important because your output resolution is gonna be a crop of that field, and you're gonna be able to edit and turn and do lots of things within that field of view. Now, the output, when you put on social media, is probably gonna be 720p, probably 1080p, and so having 8K resolution is really important because that gives you more detail to work with when you do crop in for your edit later. So in case you're wondering, yes, you can just record off of one lens. That's going to give you a second option and it's basically like having two cameras in one. So the single lens is going to give you a higher resolution compared to when you reframe footage after shooting in 360. Having said that though, when you shoot in 8K, it's going to give you somewhere around 3K for your final output and it does look fantastic. I really do think this is easily the best 360 action camera that I've used to date, and it's really great to have both options depending on what you want to film. It's kind of like if you want to do like vlog footage and you want to just have the appear like the camera's floating in front of you, you don't have a big rig or a gimbal, it's really awesome for things like that. It's also really cool for people who ride motorcycles, uh, do extreme sports, pretty much anyone who wants to have something where they're able to capture everything as it's going. It's an awesome little travel camera, and the best part is this comes in for $499. It's pretty awesome. And another really cool option that's new on the X4 is for people who are pretty tough on their cameras. In other words, if you're using this for cycling or motorcycling or extreme sports, and you're worried about the lenses, this has been a complaint that people have had. Well, Insta360 now sells lens guards. And so this comes as an accessory. They're really easy to use. There's two of them, one for each lens, and you're simply going to pop it on and rotate it to lock it into place. Then you go into the app, and it's usually set for auto, but you can say whether you want the lens guard to be on or off. And to remove them, it's just as easy. You simply turn, and remove them, you can clean them. Oh, and another new feature that's really cool on the X4 is we have a larger capacity battery. So this new battery is a 2,290 milliamp battery. So it's going to give you, depending on your settings, up to around 135 minutes of record time. This is really nice for those of you who don't like to bring extra batteries or worry about charging while you're in the field. You can pretty much just set this and record as long as you want. So what's really cool about the Insta360 X4 is like the other Insta360 cameras, it does feature flow state image stabilization. What I love about this is I don't need a gimbal. It just smooths everything out and it does this in camera and it's really awesome. So I can be walking and talking like I am now and it's just going to smooth it. It's really cool. The other thing it features is horizon leveling. What's really cool about this is if I just happen to turn the camera a little bit like I am now, it doesn't matter. It just keeps the horizon absolutely level. Now this is really cool is that if you're doing, let's say you're riding a motorcycle or you're doing something that's a little more extreme where you might be turning but you want to see the horizon stay level, it will do that. Now another thing worth mentioning on the Insta360 X4 are the audio options. So right now I'm just using the built-in microphones. I think they sound really nice. There's also built-in active noise canceling, which are with wind noises, things like that. And you can also use a Bluetooth option. So if you want to use your Apple AirPods, it's fully compatible. Now, another cool thing that you could try on the Insta360 is what's called bullet time. Now, if you're not familiar with bullet time, it requires the bullet time accessory, which I have here. And this is really cool. You're going to attach your camera to this end. This will extend if you want a longer range and it will swing along this arm. So what I'm going to do is attach the camera, swing it over my head like so, and then what it's going to do is it's going to record video at a really high frame rate. And then when it plays back, it slows it down for some really cool effects that you can add to your content creating arsenal. Oh, and I also want to note that I am using the invisible selfie stick. This is a thin selfie stick that you can get from Insta360. And the way that the cameras overlap and stitch the video together, you don't see me holding anything. So you can kind of be stealth with this. What I love about about this is it allows you without a gimbal just to use the camera in front of you kind of like you've got somebody filming you and it's really cool so you can create content without you know having a whole crew with you something like that or it's just really convenient and easy to do it makes everything very self-contained which I love you can also use gestures to control the x4 once this is activated in the menu basically you just hold up your hand once to start a video recording when you're ready to end it you hold your hand up again and if you want to grab a photo just simply hold up two fingers and that takes a photo. 
So the X4 comes in the typical candy bar looking design. You've got a lens on each side. On one side of the camera, you have ports for USB charging, as well as connecting to another device like your computer. You also have the battery compartment. On the other side, it is very simple. You've got your power button as well as your quick menu button. And on the front of the camera, you've got a monitor and there's two quick buttons underneath. The one on the left is the shutter release. It either takes a picture or starts and stops video. And the one on the right brings up your menu options. Now, what's cool about the monitor is remember we are recording in a 360 degree field of view and if you want to change what you're seeing in the monitor you just click and drag with your finger and you can pretty much look at anything to reset this there's a button on the lower right hand corner that switches lenses and you just tap that once it'll reset tap it twice and it'll flip over to the other camera head on so this is a really nice way to frame up what it is you're trying to do you also have a button for some view options so if you want to go for mega view which is the widest view possible you can do ultra or you could do a d warp which is going to pretty much simulate what you would see on a standard camera so this is about be the best mode for vlogging. If you want to get everything in, you might want to go for ultra or mega. The screen also supports gestures for navigation. This is one of my favorite things. If you swipe from the top down, you're going to get all of your menu settings. These are all icon based and basically you just turn them on or off depending on what options you want to use for your filming. To exit that view, you just swipe up. If you swipe from the bottom up, you're going to get all of your video settings for resolution and frame rate. Swipe down to get rid of that menu. If you swipe from the right to the left, you're going to get your picture options. So if you want to to go from auto to manual mode if you want to do things like change your color profile, the exposure compensation, white balance, and swiping from the left to the right is going to give you all of your footage. So if you want to play something back, this is where your footage lives. As I mentioned before, the Insta360 X4 will record cinematic video in 360 degrees at 8K up to 30p. Now there are some really cool high frame rate options for some really neat slow-mo effects. And so if you want to do those, you can record at 5.7K up to 60p, 4K up to 100p, and these are both 360 video, plus there's a me mode, which will record at 120 frames a second, and this is where you're gonna get some really cool slow motion footage. If you're recording in single lens mode, you can record up to 4K at 60p. If you're doing bullet time, you can record up to 5.7K at 120p, or you could do time-lapse footage at 11K, which is pretty impressive. And as I mentioned earlier, we now have a 2,290 milliamp hour battery, which will give you up to about 135 minutes of runtime, depending on what mode you're in. It is also waterproof up to 10 meters or about 33 feet. Another thing that's really cool that you probably won't notice until you're using it, but the X4 has much improved transfer speeds with both USB-C as well as Wi-Fi. And this is one of the things that I think Insta360 on all their cameras has done better than the competition is that it's one thing to get your footage and it's another thing to come back from your trip or come to your room at night and want to edit something down. And all of a sudden that's where the hassle begins. And Insta360 have done this really well and it's even faster. Now. So you can use USB-C if you want to do a wired transfer, and that's probably where you're going to get the fastest speeds, but the Wi-Fi speeds are much improved too, and this is really nice if you're just going to edit with the mobile app. Now speaking of, let's talk about the mobile app. So the Insta360 mobile app is excellent, and one of the things that I love about this app is it allows you to just jump in, and if you know what you're doing and you like to edit and you want to keyframe things, it gives you a lot of control, but the other cool thing is for people who don't know how to edit, it's going to get you started really quick. So one of the cool features in here is called Quick edit and it allows you to choose from several simple reframing methods so you can physically move your phone around you can swipe on the phone screen and then the other cool thing I like is you can actually long press on a subject to activate deep track 3.0 and so what this does it's an upgraded algorithm that's going to make your movement look much smoother the resulting clips can be saved immediately to your phone and this is the easiest way to get a manually reframed video there's also AI edit which is really awesome for beginners that don't know where to start and they've never done 360 video before and so now you can just simply choose what AI recommends and you just edit with a tap. And of course you can get into manual keyframing and this is kind of a professional thing for people who know what they're doing, but there's a lot of variations, a lot of things you can try. There's also a Shot Lab in here. So if you click on the edit page in the Insta360 app, you're going to open Shot Lab. It's a collection of creative viral video effects for effortless editing. It's all AI based and it just handles everything. The app also features background downloading. So you can download footage from the camera while the Insta360 app runs quietly in the background background. This leaves you free to use your phone for whatever else you want to do. So there are a lot of cool things about this camera. One of the things that I love about Insta360 is that it's progressed from the very beginnings all the way up to the X4 into something that is very much more versatile than it was when it started out. So a lot of times people think of needing a 360 camera only if they need 360 footage. There's a couple of things that I love about this. First of all, if you do need 360 footage, it is awesome. So if you're a cyclist, if you're doing the sports and you want to be able to have that 360 view at all times, 
this is an excellent camera choice for that. Now, one of the things that I really love about the X4 is that for people who create just standard content, vlog footage, video clips that you want to share on the internet, one of the problems that we have is platforms. So for instance, right now you're watching this on YouTube. So you're watching it in 16 by nine and it's a horizontal format. If I'm going to create the same video for Instagram and I probably need to refilm it to make sure my dimensions are all correct because I want a vertical format on that platform. Now, because the X4 is constantly recording that 360 degree field of view, you pretty much have unlimited options in terms of recropping, reframing. You can do completely different edits to maximize what it is you want to do for the platform that you're going to deliver on. It's one of the things that I absolutely love about this camera. If you guys want to check it out, I have a link in the description below. I might be able to save some money there. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I would love to know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, later.